Good evening, Hello. ladies and germs, as Wayne would say, who's not here tonight, sadly. Uh, but it's fantastic to be back at the Pignet Club after an absence of something like 20 months. Yeah. Uh, and um, before I start, dedicate this performance and this this evening in fact to a few people who we've lost uh, Charlie Watts goes without saying Don Everly Sean Locke Dusty Hill who we just heard from there ZZ Top but um, I think most importantly there's a couple of people who will fuel attendees uh, Liz Thompson who I didn't know particularly well but she was a friend of the picnics and a friend of this night who sadly passed away recently, and also the great legendary C.P. Lee, yeah. who who was who made many great appearances here, and he, he passed away. He, he suddenly died, didn't he? Heart attack about spring summer last year. So it's very weird coming back to very much an altered uh, landscape, shall we say? But that being said, we're here to enjoy ourselves. So uh, out of business. Thank you. 
the hardest stuff. Everybody says they'd stand behind me when the game got rough. But the joke was on me. There was nobody there to call my blood. involvement. Dylan was the most well-documented man on earth at that time and when this, these events allegedly took place he was over here on tour. Be that as it may, you know, stranger things have happened and should it turn out that Bob's are wrong, we have to just separate the art from the artist the way we've done, the way I've done for years with, you know, Miles Davis, Chuck Berry, Rolf Harris, but we can't say that. <laughs> Anyway, this is a new tune's been kicking around for a couple of years. Wrote the lyrics in a panic the other week when I realised that this gig was drawing close. So it's uh, it's called uh, as the as the shit goes down. Uh, 
Thank you very much. I always find if you're going to write a song about the collapse of society and the death of the planet, it helps to have a sort of jaunty musical kind of feel to take the sting out a bit of it. And actually, this next one is a, <laughs> it's a kind of strange story with this. Obviously, there's been no live music for the last year and a half, more. Um, and I'm lucky in that I live next door to the Albert Club in, in, on Old Lansdowne Road. And there's been a couple of occasions when, you know, we've not been able to go to the pub and I've been sat out the back having a beer, a bit of music, and I was on my guitar there. And I ended up, on a couple of occasions, playing to a little gang of kids, five to ten years old, when the parents were having a drink. Nosy, pesky kids say, like, play us a song, this stuff. And at that point, this was brand new. Uh, and it's a song about the sort of the shortness and ultimate pointlessness of existence. And now it's, you know, we're all just heading towards a void. So I just felt for kids that age, it was absolutely perfect. <laughs> And it's called Sad Old Day. He's still in its embryonic stages, so this could go anywhere.
subject matter and we're going to provide a bit of light and relief with a song called Nobody Knows You When You're Down and Out which is an old blues song written in about 1923 by a fella called Summit Cox, I can't remember his name something Cox uh, but it was it was the, the, the biggest hit uh, first of all was by uh, the great blues singer Bessie Smith and it was also done by uh, Enoch, I mean Eric Clapton yeah. On uh, the, the Derek and the Dominoes album, it's, uh, nobody knows you when you're down and out. Once I lived a life of a million men, spent all my money.